Excellent. Ah, Converse, right, this thing. Oh, crap! Why did I just remember this now? What's wrong? Uh-oh. I've seen that look on your face before. It's Master Sonya, isn't it? Before I left, Mom asked me to run an errand for her, but I totally spaced. But that was quite some time ago. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about now. Snap out of it, Leia! We need to come up with a plan! Remember the Gaius dumplings they have here? Let's send her some! That's it! We'll distract her with sugar! We'll make it out of this alive yet! Hey! Jude! Leia! Do they understand the situation we're in now? It appeared to be a family matter. It's not our place to interfere. Oh! You've become quite familiar with humans, haven't you? I've seen a lot on my journey. Well, I'm proud of the fact that the great Maxwell is a member of my family. That's right. You and I are family, aren't we? I once thought about what it would be like to have a family. And? It was something I've never felt before. Very different from my duties as Maxwell. Of the feelings I've experienced, the one that comes closest is security. <laughs> Why do you laugh? What am I to you, then? That's a difficult question. I understand the idea of having a family, but I don't think it's the same as what you're feeling. That's not what I asked. Besides, didn't you just say that you were proud to have me as family? Oh, is that what I said? Unbelievable. I'm beginning to doubt that you truly came here in response to my summons. All I can say is that there is nothing more important to me than fulfilling Maxwell's orders. Hey, sorry about that! We kind of got carried away. Don't worry about it. Hmm? They seem surprised by that. The most important thing to a spirit is the purpose of its existence, its duty. I believe the same is true for humans, but sometimes for humans. There are things that went out over duty. Over duty? Then again, perhaps it's just another kind of duty. The duty to survive. I see. I didn't really understand any of that. But I'm pleased that you were able to convince yourself. So technically that little side quest there is, uh, missable. Although it's very hard to miss, all you have to do is walk backwards like I did. That was part of the Sisterhood side quest. But, uh, the ears of a monster. Listen, Mila, about Ivor. Why are you whispering? Because Ivor can hear a pin drop half a mile away. That's true. When he flew in on that wyvern, he was able to hear everything we said. So what is it? I wouldn't worry you two. It's the wyverns that have great hearing, not Ivor. They navigate by channeling wind spirits to bring them every noise within miles. They probably just told Ivor what they heard. Do you really think so? If your handmaid really had such good ears, don't you think you'd be a little less deaf to subtext? Oh! So, what about Ivor? Huh? Oh, I was just going to ask why he's so deaf to subtext when he has such great ears. Ah. Uh, a popular topic, apparently. Ha <laughs> ha! Ivor's an idiot. Oh, there was a side scene. Or was it? Pop up! Pop up again! Flying ships! Giant lumps of metal soaring through the sky. Kinda terrifying, isn't it? You think so? I find the idea fascinating. I'm quite excited myself. Riding in a flying ship. It's beyond my wildest dreams. Ugh. Why are boys so into stuff like this? I fail to see the appeal myself. Hey, Muse. Do these things ever fall out of the sky? I don't know. But... But what? But I don't really care. If it did, I'd just fly away. Well, that settles that. I'll be holding on to you. Ha <laughs> ha! Crashes. Um. Anyways, there's a couple of little side quest stuff we have to do. There's another conversation we have to get out of the way. And then after that, we have to uh, do another journey outward. And that'll be the one where we get a split between Jude and Mila. Uh, let's get the conversation run out of the way so I can go grab a drink while it's going on because it's kind of long. Here's Carla!
Uh, I guess I'll just reiterate that. I was, I was interrupted before. Uh, this is a the side quest is the history of Ajul. Uh, this is actually the last step in it, but every step in it, it's been like extremely easily missable. In fact, this is like some of the first times I've ever actually fully completed this side quest in all my playthroughs, I think. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Carla, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? I haven't gone back home for quite some time. Hey, Jude, do you have a moment? I'm going to start teaching again soon. Maybe you could help me practice? Sure, I'd be happy to. Wonderful. Okay, take a seat. <clears throat> All right, class, let's begin our lesson. Today, we're going to talk about the history of Canbalar. Last time, we covered Gaius's role in the Battle of Fezabel. Huh? Just go with it. <laughs> okay. Gaius, disenchanted by the inability of the Great Clans to guide their troops, formed a group called Taurus. It was to be an assembly based purely on merit, unfettered by outdated clan traditions. He believed that those strong in mind and body should be the ones to lead the country. Nothing like it had ever been attempted before. So it didn't matter what your tribe or position was, only that you were strong. Correct. And Gaius was determined to remake Ajul as a country that no longer sacrificed its weakest citizens. It was after Taurus was formed that he took to calling himself Gaius. Wait, so it's not actually his real name? Correct. Gaius is actually an ancient word that means he who pulls the world behind him. So then what's his real name? Are you sure you want to know that? Huh? Is there some reason I shouldn't? King Gaius hides his real name in order to keep his family out of danger. If you want to know it, you need to be prepared for the consequences. Wait, that doesn't sound right. After all, you seem to know his real name. If it was that big of a deal, wouldn't you be in danger yourself? I'm a special case. Uh-huh. Let's just continue the lesson. Very well. After Taurus was formed, King Gaius rallied its members against several of the larger tribes. Fifteen years ago, he vanquished the young but brilliant strategist who led the Longdao tribe and forced him to submit to his leadership. A brilliant Longdao strategist? Wait, you don't mean... Yes, it was none other than Wingull who would come to be known as the Ebon Wing of Longdao. With Wingull at his service, Gaia seized control of Kanbalar five years later. That was when he declared himself to be king of all the Ajul United Territories. This is what would later become known as the Dawn of Ajul, which originally came from the tribes referring to Gaius as the Dawn King. He was only 22 years old at the time. That's not much older than I am. I can't believe he actually united Ajul at that age. Yes, it's impressive. He must be a very strong man. But don't his friends and family miss him? Hmm? Gaius may be so strong that it doesn't bother him, but surely the rest of his family misses him. Possibly. But I'm sure they understand he has a great burden that takes precedence over everything else. Gaius belongs to the people now, not his family. I guess. And after all, it's thanks to him that Ajul is now a much nicer place to live. And with that, I must be going. Can't keep my students waiting, you know. Thanks for helping me practice. Oh, sure. Good luck with your classes. Thank you. Yeah, don't worry, I'm sure they'll be perfectly fine and stay awake during the entire thing, unlike that girl that was beside us the entire time. Food vendor, I need some sandwiches. Um, let's see here. Ah, uh, I can, that's fine. I'm going to take that for boss fights ahead. But I'm going to wait, maybe? I would really like... I might grab a second one after the side quest here. There's a boss fight during the side quest. SPOILER! Oh, I need to s stay in the end. Moving on! <laughs> um... 
Yeah, so that was the last step in the History of Ajul side quest, that very admissible one. Why am I entering in here? I know exactly where I need to go. Um, actually, I can't... No, there was nothing in there. It was just only over here. Unless it's moved. No, it has not. Here we go. Oh, God, that was horrible. I never thought I'd see a fire teagle come out of the lava, lava tubes. Someone must have injured it because it was ex acting extremely aggressive. Uh, if we don't take care of it now, could I can't believe I'm putting a, together a team to go after it. Will you help us? Except, great, wonderful God, it's a funeral pyre. Okay, so, if you recall correctly in the previous videos, if you haven't watched them because you're new, whatever, uh, there was two dungeons we had to go through separately in each playthrough. This is the mission which makes us go through the other one we didn't before with the playthrough. So, uh, oh. Um, I'm just going to go. I think if I just go there, it'll be fine. <clears throat> if I recall from my stumbling, you'll see in the Mila playthrough. As that's already done. But, um, yeah, so we originally went through the ice cavern with Jude, and now we're going through the lava tubes, and Mila went through the lava tubes originally, and now we're going through the, uh, and she'll be going through the ice cavern after. But, uh, yeah, we have to go back to the, uh, fiery dungeon of doom and destruction, and we'll go through that full, fully with Jude, because, uh, grab any treasure chests or items, because this is the completion file, unlike Mila's. <laughs> Mila, I just skipped crap. I think I only... I went through his head. Uh... But, uh, yeah. Not a lot of lava tubes! Uh, well... Do I have... <laughs> okay, good. Vorpal sword. Fountain rod, that's good. Uh, water harp... I'm not even using him right now. Whatever. Uh, I really wish I had Jude's next weapon, which is Deluge Fist, I think, which is a water so weapon. Hungry, water. I can't go on. Jude, oh, make me something. Oh, shut up. Uh, Ever Blooms. Anyways, we just have to go through here now, and that'll be that. And that's essentially what this quest is. So we'll have to go through. And he was talking about the Fire Teagle, which was the boss that Mila had to kill. So we'll have to kill it. And I'm sure you can figure out what the boss we have to kill as Mila is. And if you don't, go watch the previous episodes, if you're way. new. Because you're missing a lot if you don't. <laughs> Not in the void. Oh, uh, there is... Which one is... That's the Earth. Oh, that's... No, that's not Earth. That's the Ruination thing set up. I can't remember what that was called. No. That is Aqua Sweep. There we go. Got it. Sweep. Sweep in the floor. I will fulfill my mission. Excellent. Gonna be a lot of sweeping of the floor in this play in this dungeon. <clears throat> As we go through. Because I need to grab a lot of treasure chests and such doodly. -do -do. Um, let's see what else there is. I think I need to go up there to continue on, so I'll go forward instead. Ha ha! Treasure chests! <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think of anything else that might be good to mention between this. I don't know. It's been a little while since I recorded this. There have been several times where I've actually gone to record this. Then I get distracted by something else. Mostly Flary. <laughs> I think there was three other times and two times Flary texted me or something right before. I was like, hey, wanna play a game? I was like, sure. And I always put friends and actual social activity before my, my single player recordings. Which is why streams happen so often. It's because I like want to hang out with friends and such, so. Um... There's no gentleman dudes here. There was a uh, uh, the gen there's a elemental uh, the the tall, lanky, slendery things that have uh, that are just uh, that are very tanky, but also uh, 
uh, give out lots of good experience and such are in this place. And they, 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 they all have their own element plus a neutral element. I think we've seen them... Oh no, we saw the Earth One, which is the one I was training against way, 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 way back when. But uh, hey, the gentleman one, the fiery ones are here. Hey, yeah, got a back tack, sweet. So we'll see what happens here. I'm, so yeah, these guys here are pretty good to train against, so uh, we'll see what happens. I have no idea how much experience you get from these guys, actually, to be honest. Why am I getting power hits on him? That means... Yeah, he's weak to water, not fire. No idea. Uh, 1100 experience, I guess not. Whatever. Would have been a lot back in that other cave when I was lower level. <clears throat> I'm pretty strong right now. I, I'm pretty high level for this kind of a place, I think. Obviously, I was able to take out one of the uh, devil beasts, so. I must be getting kind of strong if I'm doing that. I, I always use that. Like, I'm pretty. Is it humble, the word? Like, I'm not really one to, like, admit strength or smart or anything like that. Like, but I have to admit it when I'm actually good. Like, I'm. A lot of people probably don't know this, but I am pretty damn good at Guitar Hero. Like, I have a, another Guitar Hero channel, which I don't really. I haven't posted to at all. Hey, is the Nava Lava thingy? The Teagle! That's the thingy. Um. But uh, I'm pretty good at the game. Like, I'm not a pro, but I can beat every song on Expert. And that's including the crazy ones like Through the Fire and Flames and all that in Guitar Hero 3. And uh, so I have to, like, at some point I have to admit I'm actually good at the game. And uh, so, like, yeah, I've proven myself to be pretty good at the game, and I have to accept that. But uh, then there's stuff like... I have to admit that I'm actually kind of, uh, I'm fairly smart or something because I have a university degree, like I graduated university, so I must be at least a little bit smart to have gotten that, even though I still consider myself an idiot. <laughs> so there's always more to learn, there's always something you can get better at, but uh, you just start, obviously you just start getting recognized for whatever you're doing, so... Obviously you're doing something right if you get recognized for... Or if you can... If you're getting recognized for something, right? Hey, I killed him. I got recognized and I'm stronger than him. There we go. Hey, level ups. Got them level ups. 